Hey everyone, my name is Lacey and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing clay, I guess I'm gonna call them pens, though one is technically a charm. You can easily make them into either. And I do want to apologize that I feel like I'm definitely not on track with Vlogmas and I really have been trying. I did have some issues with my last video, which I think I kind of mentioned that in the video. I was having some editing issues. Definitely didn't expect for that to happen. It took me a long time to figure it out. And at the same time, I haven't been feeling the greatest. Just some personal issues and really just trying to feel like myself, be in the holiday spirit. Hopefully you all are in the holiday spirit as well. And, and I do have a lot of things in store for you guys so i hope you guys stick around to see that and like i said i'm super excited to show you this craft so if you like this video please like and subscribe that really helps me be able to expand my channel and lets me know which videos you guys like so that's always fun to see and if you guys have any ideas comments or suggestions just leave those below and of course if you guys decide to do this craft then please tag me on social media all my social media accounts are down below as well and let's get started all right everyone so if you guys have watched my play videos before then you will know that I like to use a air drying clay I got it at Walmart the brand was DAS it was in Quebec Canada and it's also on Amazon Canada I don't know if it's available in the US and I just got this because I thought it would be a good simple clay to just start out with I have done pottery as I've mentioned in the past but I haven't ever really done like charms and stuff like that I do now and it's worked really well for me so far so the first thing I do is I mix it with my hand and I kind of help it become all the same consistency I even normally add a, just a little bit of water as well because I like it to be a little bit wetter I think that it's a little bit hard for you to see the shapes that I am doing because my hands kind of get in the way and the clay is very small so I'm gonna add a photo right now of the kind inspiration that I got from Pinterest and of course all my links will be down below so I basically break it up into different shapes so I did the feet and the body as one shape kind of a upside down heart I did the head which was just a circle and then the two arms which were like two little ovals and then I you're gonna want to attach them together so to do that I normally like in pottery and hand sculpting and stuff like that we did scoring which is where you put little slices into the clay on both sides it helps it stay together and I did do this but it's still I think it was just really small and it's really hard to get the clay to stay together so I kind of used the back of my paintbrush to just help the two pieces mold together and then I smooth it out with the other side of the paintbrush the part with the brush on it by just putting a lot of water on the brush and using it to just smooth out all of the the creases and you can also smooth out the creases with your fingers as well my nails are kind of long so I often use the paintbrush so my nails don't indent the clay this one really gave me a lot of trouble because I think because I was trying to make it really flat and it was a lot bigger than what I normally do so I did use some crafting wire which was the first time I ever did that that was interesting I don't know if I did that correctly or not but it seemed to hold up and for the rest of them I'm not really gonna chalk through them I'm just going to let you guys watch and then I will talk to you guys at the end
Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around getting this far in my video. If you guys have gotten this far, let's do another emoji. I think I haven't done that in a little while. Alright, if you guys have made it this far, then leave a snowflake emoji down below. Any of the snowflake ones. There's two snowflake ones and a snowman, so leave one of those down below. It'll be super fun to see who's gotten this far. You guys are the real MVPs, I guess. And I am super excited to show you my final product. So I didn't show glazing them. I think I was just tired. <laughs> I just didn't show it on there. But I've been whoop, using this Mod Podge Sparkle. Let's see if I can't get that on there. And I got this for my brother in the US so shout out to him and I've actually seen this in Canada as well at Michael's so if you guys don't have that you definitely could use just regular Mod Podge this is Mod Podge Satin they have Mod Podge Mod they have like all the Mod Podges so just pick your favorite I really love the sparkle because I feel like it makes it sparkly and fun and if not you definitely could just add some glitter to Mod Podge though I've never tried it I'm pretty sure you can do it though so anyways I just love when mine are all glittery I don't know about you guys but i'm gonna show each one so here is my reindeer super cute let's see if i can't get it to sparkle for you guys and he is a clay pin okay and then the snowman he's a pin as well i just love snowmen you guys can tell me what is your favorite Christmas character. So then we have a little charm. He is a Santa gnome. I don't know why his nose looks so orange in the video. I feel like it looks more of a tan color in real life. So you guys can definitely make these into charms or pins. I like to make these into keychains, but you need a jump ring. You could also make it into a cell phone charm or a necklace or like little earrings. I would totally wear this as an earring. I feel like these are too big and they were also flat. So I like to make those into pins and I just used a little hot glue to keep it on there. But if you were planning on selling these, I definitely would use something stronger, maybe some super glue or something. And then my last one is the gingerbread man. I feel like you can definitely see the glitter on that one. I kind of wish that I had made him a lighter color and I would have like used more colors see I love his like metallic buttons I used I can't find the markers that I used for him but they're like the same one and it's the glitter craft smart and I think I got these at Michael's I could have gotten them at Walmart but I think it was Michael's I think they were on sale and I don't know why but the glitter almost looks metallic like, you look closely, it's definitely got that sheen. I think it's kind of hard to tell because I put that glitter on top of it. But I mean, it was glittery, but it almost looked metallic. And I kind of just wish I had used more color on him, like done some like little squigglies or something. I think I was worried about it just being too much. But now I feel like it could have been a little bit extra. But yeah, let me know which one you guys like the best. I think it's really hard because I super love all of them. But maybe between the gingerbread man and the snowman so let me know what you guys think thank you so much for making it this far i hope you guys are having a great holiday season and i hope everybody's staying safe staying healthy staying inside and i hope to see you guys in the next video so thanks and i'll see you guys next time bye